Okay, Ruler, settle down. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Special thanks to guest lecturer member, Vite Raman. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey there, Rulers, DMO73 here. I wanted to kind of do a video I haven't done in a while talking about untap.in. It is a fantastic way to be able to play against other players online with Force of Will. It is browser-based. You can actually click a link down below if you haven't already. Um, but we've had some people talking about like, how do I start playing in Untap? What does the system look like? And they've had a pretty massive UI change recently. So there's a couple of things that you wanna um, look at here that I wanted to walk through in case you haven't checked it out in a while, or if you've never tried it before, give it a shot so that you can start playing Force of Will online. So first off, you know, you'll see when you log in now, it's a lot more simplified. There's not um, like different massive chat boxes or anything else. It's just your decks and your games right there. You can filter it by different kinds of areas. Uh, and then, so let's look at the deck construction. So I'll pull up Violet here. It pops out into a nice little bar that you can move around. It's much more simplified rather than going to a whole nother page. Um, you can just search up a card. So let's say like Atomic Bahamut. Just type in the cards that you want and you can easily just plug it right in, drag and drop. So you can set it in there. It shows you the card, shows you the text. Really, really simple. Um, you can up and down numbers really nicely. You can build that way. Um, you can also um, like do some crazy things in the sense of within the menu here, you can um, paste a deck, which is like if someone's posted a list online somewhere, you can just copy the text into here and it'll import the deck straight into it, um, which is very helpful for building quickly uh, to be able to get started in playing. Um, you can download the deck so you can get it with set IDs and without. So again, this is a way for you to be able to share lists really nicely. Um, so all these are the kings and then uh there's a card database so it'll pull up everything here um not super intensive for what we want to do but it's just if you want to get a little bit more detail then you maybe don't know the name that are, there are some options there so that's how you build decks uh if you have a basic free account i believe you get 10 decks um but you can have as many as you want as you can see i have a lot <laughs> um that you can select from and then you can play games. If you're just wanting to watch, you can click this sideboard option, right? We even have these two guys right here who are playing a game. So you can see kind of, we'll just hop in and see what we got playing here. So you can see kind of the, it's very easy to hop in and hop out um, to get in there. And then if you wanna start your own game, you just do new. You can do it as a solo, which enables just to like do things by yourself in terms of um, looking at uh, gold fishing or anything else you can do two players kind of specify what play style you're having like want to get super competitive just as a beginner multiplayer if you want whether you allow spectators have a password all these other things so i'll just pull up a solo for some for the sake of it um and i'll turn off mirrored player it'll create a game and then when you get in you just pick a deck so i'll pick violet here and then you can notice that it, it makes things a lot more clearer now with the new UI. So cards are very clearly distinguished. Um, you have a lot of hotkeys that you can custom assign. So like you can press V to shuffle your deck. Um, you can shuffle your deck here as well. Um, drawing a card is just hitting the C key. Sending a card to the bottom of your deck is just hitting the Y key. Um, I mean, this is a pretty good hand. So I'll probably ship uh, these two away. Maybe the tiny violet as well. Just if I don't see a heart to heart talk in there. Uh, and then, yeah, so it's also easy to be able to pass the turn. So you can just pass the end phase, pass the turn to your opponent. Um, if it is your turn, you can hit the. So if I put a bunch of things on field here just to show you, right? If I hit the X key when it's my turn, it'll recover everything. So there's a lot of speed there. Also a new feature here, if you hit the Z key while you're hovering over the main deck, as well as the, I believe it works for the stone deck. Um, maybe they haven't implemented that yet, but you can just bring a card directly into play, which is helpful. You can find a card by hitting the F key and pulling it up and it'll bring up your whole deck here. So you can find a specific card or something like that. Um, just a lot of flexibility options and customization options. If you do decide to kind of like support them on uh, Patreon, you can get things like putting a custom card backs on cards. You can 
give custom play mats that you can use. Um, they have updated Force of Will so that your life total is correct over here when you're playing Force of Will, which is nice. Um, and yeah, there's ways to like highlight cards by like hitting the H key to shake something or, or show where you're doing something. You can also remove the highlight on something by doing Shift H. Makes the card a little bit bigger. It makes it clear kind of what you're doing with it. Um, if you want to really separate cards out, which is really nice. There's just a lot of quality of life improvements that they've done to untap that um, just make it a really nice way to be able to play uh, Force of Will online with your opponents um, and in your communities. You can actually get started and plugged into the Force of Will Ruler School Discord. We have an LFG channel that you can use to find and meet up with people, which is the usually the best way. Um, and again, like I said, this is browser based, so you can even uh, just play it on any computer that you're with, as well as you can even use it on mobile, which is pretty sweet. So overall, a fantastic resource. Um, just keep in mind that just it isn't an automated system. So like you do need to know the rules of Force of Will to play. But if you're watching this video, you probably know how to play Force of Will. So just keep doing what you're doing. Um, but that's it for now. I hope you guys like it. And hopefully we see you in the Discord and playing on Untap. Um, and you can feel free to give them suggestions in this video uh, that we can pass on to them about ways that they could make it even better. So that's it for us for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, class dismissed.